All right. I got everybody. All right, so I did uh, episode Gladiolus. Uh, and I do get the Genji Blade. It is not better than the Hyperion, though. What the heck? What is this madness? This is DLC. How is it not better? Whatever. Supposedly I get a new outfit, too. I don't see it, though. I guess not. Alright, whatever. Dang. Why are those off-center and rotating? Alright, well, let's continue playing the game. We gotta board the boat. Uh, so I got my car back today. A la freaking Luya. And uh, I thought something was particularly funny. Because just when I was there, uh, I was sitting down waiting for them to bring up my car, yada yada, this and that. And uh, um, hey, there was another do you person. Think swing by the cup noodle shop for a sec. I like cup noodles as much as anyone, but I think you might like them a little too much, big guy. There's nothing else like them. They're easy to make whenever you've got a craving, and they're delicious to boot. <laughs> I'll never forget my first time. Must have been real eye-opening after all the fine dining you did before that. It really went all out on the cup noodles advertising. Look how high-res this texture is. Oh my gosh. Is that actually popping out? No, it is not. This is a crazy high res texture. Hello there. Care for cup noodles? Give me, give me some cup noodles. Thank you. Come again. Thank you. What's some cup noodles? All right, so I was there, and there was this other lady uh, getting, uh, turning in her car or whatever. And there was another guy, or there was uh, some other person that was uh, helping her out. So, I actually want to port to a parking spot here. It'll be faster. I think I've been down here though. I have not. We'll uh, go there. All right. So there's another lady. Uh, she turned in a car. Okay. And uh, the person that was talking to her, he was saying like, "Hey, you're gonna get this customer service um, uh, survey, and can you please rate me five stars?" He didn't necessarily give a reason as to why those. Uh, you know, to rate five stars or whatever. He was speaking Spanish, so I couldn't understand everything. But uh, he said, uh, you know, you know, please rate me five stars. And, you know, the, the other people were like, oh, yeah, you know, not a problem. It sounds easy, blah, 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 this and that. So I, I thought, you know, like, man, that's, that's some scandalous stuff. You know, like, you don't just tell the people, like, hey, man, my, uh, my... Really looking forward to your is cooking. My, uh, service was excellent. Uh, don't be that way. It's different when a girl cooks for you. So, uh, can you, you know... I can't. What? Oh, wait, I'm here? Oh. I, okay. Huh. I'll, you know what, I'll take it. Uh, so, I, you know, I thought that was kind of scandalous. But I was like, okay, whatever, you know. If, if you come up to me and say, I want uh, five stars on my, five out of five stars on my survey, I'm probably not going to give you five out of five stars on your survey. You know, like, that's, that, that ain't right, man. So. That's it. What's what? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. 
Congratulations. Uh, so, uh, the guy who did the estimate on my vehicle shows up and he's like, hey, your vehicle's ready, blah, blah, blah. He takes me out, my vehicle looks great, you know, they cleaned it up and my vehicle was dirty, so, you know, it was like free cleaning. Excellent. Um, and after the whole thing, Let's get a shot with the lighthouse. Hair blowing in the breeze will be seaside supermodels. All right, man. Seaside supermodels it is, then. Oh, yeah! Seaside supermodels! Uh, he was like, oh, did you, uh, did you get all the, the updates that, that, uh, we've been sending out? And I was like, nah, man, I didn't get a single update. Take a shot from here. Good call. Now it's picture time. Uh, like, I, I called you yesterday because I didn't get any updates and you told me, you know, beginning of next week. Oh, well, we reached the beginning of this week. I ain't got nothing, man. I'm still dropping frames. Uh, let me get this shot. Dropping on, okay, man. Come on, man. You gotta drop them filters. Like, like, dang. I ain't keeping that. Oh, love the lighting. Uh, so he's like, oh, man, well... Uh, you know, I'm sorry about that. You know, I'll look into that. So after, you know, I take a look at the car, blah, blah, blah. He was like, so um, you're going to get a survey and it's going to talk about some stuff. And, you know, can you just re rate me a uh, 10 out of 10? You know, uh, you'll get questions like, um, how are the updates and things like that? And he's like, oh, you know, I'll, I'll check into that. I'll make sure uh, we get that resolved or whatever. And, you know, maybe we'll send you a gift card or something like that. You know, and can you rate this 10 out of 10 or whatever? And cause you know, we get graded on this stuff. And I was just like, all right, man, you know, I'll see what I can do. And immediately I was just thinking, if you give me that gift card, I'll probably give you 10 out of 10, but I ain't giving you no 10 out of 10 any other way. Sorry, dog. Sure. You got me what I need. I'll take it from here. I don't get it though. I got... Remember, practice makes perfect. Ah, you're starting to have an eye for this. I reckon you won't have any trouble finding parts for it, neither. Um. Okay. Uh, so, I don't know. I'm really bad at analogies, but Fixing an upgrade, it, uh, can do. It's kind of like, uh, maybe, for example, maybe, uh, like going to your teacher, you know, and be like, I did this assignment. You're going to give me an A, an A plus, because I asked for it. Probably don't deserve it, but I'm asking for it, so you're going to give it to me. Probably a bad analogy, but that's what it felt like. You know, how are you going to do that stuff? Getting ready to set sail. Can't let her know that we're like anxious to see her, you know, so we'll be there when we'll be there. Could have said got it, but that's a little standoffish. You know, got got, got to play the relationship game a little, a little, uh, a little slick. She, don't, she doesn't know where we're getting on the boat. We can take our time. She knows we're on our way. There's the homies. Are we missing a homie? He's just all up in the dark. Look, Prince Octus. Even the marshal came to say goodbye. Look, man, I don't want to hear your, your stories. I heard the regalia is going on the boat with you. Oh, my boat. I guess it's goodbye for now. Uh, I'm not going to read that. Sorry. But I'm leaving it up here just for you. For those YouTube folks out there, you can pause it right now. Congratulations. I hope that was satisfactory service. Please give me 10 out of 10. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. So silly. Something I gotta get off my chest. <sighs> What's that? I'm sorry. Sorry I wasn't there for your father. I swore an oath to protect the king, but uh, I wasn't strong enough to uphold it. <sighs> Ain't nothing nobody could have done to stop what happened. Yeah. I realize that. But you need to realize just what you mean to the boys by your side. I do. Even if they can't solve your problems, you can't hide what's going on from them. It hurts like hell. Remember, those ain't your bodyguards. They're your brothers. Trust in them, always. What's up, Goob Tube? Come back, man. You can never have too many tools. Here, learn to wield not only weapons, but magic as well. Oh, thank you, sir. I don't know what that is. Just remember, it's a destructive force that doesn't discriminate. I suggest putting someone in charge of it. On the boat. Waiting for an invitation? Get your asses on board. How was the car gonna fit on that? Hey, your majesty! What's up? Please, come back soon! We need our king! <laughs> yeah, count on it. Aha! <laughs> Never coming back to this sucker food nation ever again! <laughs> you can count on that! I'm out! <sighs> Sometimes I just need to get a game where it just does something like that. Crack me up. Okay, that's you know. I could have zoomed it in a little bit more. You know, get a go a little closer to the face, crop the legs a little bit more. All right, Ignis. All right, man, what, what are y'all doing? Uh, that one's actually okay. Oh, this one's actually nice. I think I already saved this one from a previous playthrough, but this one's actually nice. You know, you got the gang in there, everybody. I don't remember who that girl is there, but you know, you're missing the old man. I know he died, but could have put his ghost in there or something. I kind of want to save this one. But Prompto just... I, I'm not going to go... You know what? I'm not going to do this because I'm protesting the blue filter that Prompto uses. Like, you need, you need to check yourself with that, man. Peace. The wedding day arrives, but alas, without the bride. Of course, we've come for the Hydrian, and you've gone to such lengths to prepare. Merely my duty. Ah, but for an outsider to lead the Imperial Army must be a battle in and of itself. You've spoken to Lady Luna Freya. No. That obstinate secretary standing in the way while you rush off to slay the Hydrian for your poor sister's sake. I know the price of the Covenant. I, I like that guy. I forget his name, though. You know, 
I've always wanted to go sailing like this. Not many opportunities living in insomnia. Out here, it's just us and the horizon. It's amazing. It's life-changing. We've quite a ways to go until we reach Altisha, so keep gushing to your heart's content. When we step off the boat, we'll be in a foreign country. The anticipation alone is a foreign sensation. Then to think this is where we were headed to begin with. We've been through a lot. And there's still more to come. So next on the docket is Leviathan. What sort of deity are we dealing with? A serpent said to embody the roar and rage of the sea. We'll have to see for ourselves. Can't let Lady Luna Freya do all the heavy lifting. You must be so psyched to see her. Luna? Yeah. Well, we need to make sure she's all right before anything else. Indeed. Her well-being is top priority. Don't like this going down on Imperial turf. You think Lady Lunafrey is in danger there? The Empire did invade Lucis for the ring. I have no faith that ruthless ambitions will stop short of harming the Oracle. Without the ring, the crystal's no more than a rock. Hmm. I suppose. Does anyone know how Lady Lunafrey came to have the ring? It seems likely His Majesty entrusted it to her safekeeping back at the Crown City. So she's held on to it this whole time. All the way to Altitia. The ring is important, and so is Leviathan. But Luna comes first. You know, I was thinking back to our encounter with Ravus. Hmm. Do you recall an apparatus in place of his arm? Yeah, I remember. Seems he lost his old one in the invasion. But in its place, he seems to have acquired new power. Power? That would help explain how a son of Tenebrae suddenly came to command Niflheim's army. Now that you mention it, his strength did seem sort of supernatural. I just chalked it up to the Oracle lineage. His ancestry may be part of it, but that alone wouldn't account for his freakish strength. I wonder what could have happened to him. There's a disturbing rumor about Lord Ravus has taken to brandishing His Majesty's sword. My dad. Then what's the big idea behind that? That his power's the same as the power of kings? I cannot say for sure. But I have my doubts. Ravus wears the sword, yet doesn't wield it. Hmm. For all his newfound powers, he's still the Chancellor's lapdog, holding on to the enemy king's sword like some badge of honor. It might help if we knew what he was after. And say, what are the odds the Empire will crash the pool party with Leviathan? Consider it a guarantee. They felled a god to prevent Noct from receiving his blessing. They'll do so again. But we beat him to the big guy. Thanks to our friendly guide. Never know which way that one's gonna move next. The Chancellor has an agenda all his own. Sometimes it helps. Like when he called off his army and let us escape. But he was still a creep about it. Well, it feels like he's only helping us because he wants something. I just don't know what. Reckon we'll see him again? Certainly hope not. Not your type. No love lost for phonies. As Gladio said, his actions are motivated not by altruism, but by self-interest. And when he does come to our aid, I see only condescension in his eyes. Yeah, can't argue with that. Ever think you think too much? Sometimes, but it's always preferable to the alternative. So, soon you'll have your old man's ring back. Yeah, when we arrive in Altitia. Good thing. To him, it was his heritage. Is that what my dad said? Carrying a royal line ain't a task to be taken lightly. For a small thing, that ring can sure weigh heavy. After he became king, I only ever saw his face in the paper. Wait, weren't you at the coronation? No, I was long gone from the city. You must have been invited, at least. Had a fallen out of sorts with your old man. Right at the end of the trip. You did? I was given to understand you stayed in touch. We buried the hatchet years later, but never talked face to face again. Should have paid a visit while I had the chance. Well, no use dwelling on it now. Got the regalia in the hold, but you're all gonna stay in Altitia for a good while, right? Yes, we believe so. In that case, I'll tune her up for y'all. Not that I'll have much to do, though. <laughs> well, with Cindy looking after the old girl. If you say she's good, she must be great. She was never afraid of hard work. 
Heaven knows she had a hard childhood. A hard childhood? He means her parents. Lost them both when she was little. It was big enough to understand, though. And to hurt. But you wouldn't guess that, seeing her now. Not at all. She's always so cheerful. Well, that ought to tell you how far she's come. Well, you must have seen your fair share of Altitia by now. Yeah. Only done been the once. Stayed a good while, though. What's it like? Big old city. Big. Okay. Well, it ain't the crown city. Different. Got it. You'll see for yourself. Foreign lands seldom lend themselves to trite explanations. Change the scenery ought to do you good. Well, I'm all talked out. Can't be far to Altitia now, right? We'll be there in no time. Nice having the wind at our backs. Logic is our first order of business. All work and no play makes it us a dull boy. Someone has to babysit you too. Well, you're welcome to sleep in the wild. Ain't no hotel, but I know a fella has a place. Hey now. Westcom ran with Reggie and me way back when. Oh, was he the other one in that photo with the garage? Yeah, runs himself a diner or a cafe or something. Go and see for yourselves. Sure. Does the place have a name? McGee or Magoo or uh, Mago. That's the one. Nice. You can count on Old West, but <laughs> he'll chew your ears off. The government issued a statement promising that the reasons behind awakening the Hydrian would be clarified in the ceremonial address. Gas signal! Delivering the address will be Lady Luna Freya, who was previously reported dead. This will mark her first public appearance since the violence that befell the signing ceremony. Lady Luna Freya's gonna give a speech? Sounds like it. Lord knows. This world could use some wisdom. Won't be much longer now, knocked. Yeah. Ah, uh, did I get the or did I get to try out the Genji sword yet? I did not. It uh, it actually has less attack power than the sword that Gladiolus is currently using, so I uh, I'm not using it. Doesn't seem like it gives any special properties in the description or anything like that. So decided to take a pass on it. Yeah, this city is so cool. Like just this bridge alone right here is extremely dangerous. But very cool. Look at this city, man. It's all good. Oh, God. Does this vessel have an entry permit? Uh, entry permit? Relax. I got one. Here. That's as old as they get. Seems in order. You may pass. Would have been a forgery, dog. Prepared in advance. Could say that. Thirty odd years ago. That's what the guy meant by old. Lucky us, huh? That could have ended badly. Could have just said, I don't need one. I'm the king of Lucius. Waterfalls, uh, don't look so great. Look at this city. It's so cool. I like it lots. I was gonna say, what? what? Oh, man. Okay, this this is the gondola place. What's next? Immigration? What do you mean? There's still more. Sir, what is the purpose of your visit? Purpose, uh Ignis, my dog. Ignis, a little help? Oh, utterly hopeless. We are scholars of the culinary arts, and we've come to study the renowned cuisine of your fair nation. Is that so? I wish you an enlightening stay. Another one you owe me. All right, fine. I'll ask Sid next time.
you want to check Westcombe's place out? Yeah, let's all go to Mago. Perhaps we'll even make it in time for tea. And we'd better start looking now. Alright, so this city is kind of obnoxious to navigate, I believe. Sid wasn't kidding, it is big. <laughs> Crowded too. Um, you can't just walk places, you have to take gondolas. And I don't think you can go anywhere with any one particular gondola. I believe you have to take a very specific gondola. Which, uh, oh, maybe not. Oh, well, yes. So there are, there are some gondolas that only go some certain places. Uh, maybe it's like a like a mini game or or something that I was thinking of. Uh, but I do still have to figure out how I'm gonna go. How about a group photo? I know just the place, and it's close. Have you ever been here, man? Let's check it out. Yeah, let's go. That's way over there. Gondola. Care for a ride? Take me to the Mog Ho. We can experience one gondola ride. It's kind of close. I guess uh, next time we'll, you know, we'll skip it. I was hoping we'd get a little bit of dialogue for this, but I guess we ain't gonna get none of that. But yeah, it's close. What's a good place to stay? I've learned a new recipe. Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. I wonder why Kor didn't come with us. Welcome to Okoro, lads. Sid mentioned you'd be dropping in. Wuskam Arma, as you've gathered. My word, you've grown, little prince. Hmm. Ah, but of course. <laughs> you were only a babe at the time. Now I see why people flock from far and... Take a shot from here. Good call. Now it's picture time. Would it be rude to ask about eats? Has that ever stopped you? No idea what kind of fish they have here. But if you catch it... Uh, uh, let me get this shot. Eh... <sighs> Gang's all here, see? Us? Keep trying. He just stood there, staring at the church and looking off. The Archean's awakening resulted in the destruction of the disc. So this is your maiden visit. Enjoying it so far? You doubtless have many questions, so ask away. This country is a part of the Empire, isn't it? Oh, you're wary. I understand. But there's no need to jump at every shadow. Just be aware that the terms of our independence grant the Empire free reign to come and go as they please. We'll bear that in mind. It's admittedly a one-sided arrangement. Most everything we do requires Niflheim's permission. And they wouldn't knowingly permit the Oracle to appear before the public. How our government spun that is quite a mystery. Well, get out the way, Gladiolus, my goodness. Has anything changed with Leviathan? For now, it's business as usual at port. But word is the government will soon open the altar of the Tide Mother. In preparation for the right. Ah, but on the other hand, they're scrambling to stockpile emergency provisions. This begs the question. If they're anticipating that the Hydrian will wreak havoc, why would they allow the right to proceed? Good question. That's all for now. We're good for now. My dear Camellia, it's been a while. I heard about your distinguished guests. Ah, you've an ear for gossip. Gentlemen, I won't waste your time. My name is Camellia Klostra. 
First secretary of the Accordo Protectorate. You should know, we have Lady Luna Freya in our care. And the Empire demands we surrender her. What? Yet I am loath to acquiesce unless we stand to profit. Hence I've come to discuss terms with the King of Lucis. If you've a mind to talk, come to my estate. Okay. She can be oblique at the best of times, but I assure you, her heart is in the right place. Oh, okay. At any rate, you must be weary from your journey. Might I suggest you seek your beds for now and ponder matters anew in the morning? Yeah, I think we'll do just that. Head to the Leville. You're digging the look. Splendid. Where are we off to? Digging into the locations in this game? Feel like you're on vacation? They're pretty nice. They got a lot of nice, uh, where am I? Where am I going? Gentlemen, it has been. Okay, so we want this dot. Rattar, rattar. A pleasure. Oh. Hotel Laville or whatever. Laville's. Right, we, can, we can skip this one. Uh, yeah, the locations. Fantastic. M Call when mighty you nice. Back. Have a look at this, Noct. What about it? How about a rideler on the gondola? <laughs> what do you feel like? Oh man, Prompto is so great. Hey, can you check my coat, dog? Oh. Gentiana. Ahead lies a future uncertain, yet sure is the astral memory, wherein the king may walk. Uh, through Umbra's power, you can now revisit past memories. Summon him when you rest at lodgings. Characters will retain their current level and abilities. Rental chocobos will automatically return to the post. The place you called Umbra will be set as your last rest point. Greetings. Let's call it a day. Soft beds, baby. Oh, uh, the other day I was like, uh, let's roll. Like, where does that come from? And I figured it out that same day after I ended the stream. It's the science vessel in StarCraft 1. Remember that? I remember that. Science vessel. Science vessel's cool. Ooh. Hey, this one's pretty good. Oh. I know. I dig it too. Pretty good. We're gonna keep that one. Congratulations. Oh, I like that one too. Nice. Uh, all right, man. I'm telling you, man, relax with the blue filter. All right, we got our shots. Head to the first secretary. Well, guess we need to go talk to Camellia. Yeah, like we have any other option. There's no telling how events will unfold. Let us prepare before making our way. Yeah, she can sit tight a while. I, I like how uh, Gladiolus, he was like, cha. <laughs> Cracking me up. Uh, we need to go to, uh, Ministral Quarter Station. So, care to take a cruise? Yep. Obligatory cruising for a bruising. We bruising right through that skip button. Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. Uh, so one of my favorite things that happens in this game... Uh, happens here in this uh, the city. Uh, I'll let you know when we get there, but uh, you know, break. They knocked. That looks like a fishing spot. Serious? This will be our first time fishing outside the Crown City. Wonder what you can catch out here. Only one way to find out. I haven't fished yet, so uh, well, uh, see if I can nab a fish. 
You've discovered a fishing spot. Here Noctis can indulge in his favorite pastime. Choose which cast or where to cast your lure. Mark the indicated er, mark. The marker will indicate when fish are near your target. Move your lure to reel it in. Blah, blah. Won't get a good cast like that. Put your back into it. You are unhappy with the Lewis provi uh, position. Blah, blah blah. Uh. Rod. Go with that bad boy. Go with that bad boy. You know, uh, let's cheat. One looks crazy. Spider silk. Go with the super baleen. I don't know what fish this is. Can't even see the fish. I wish I could, uh... Fish over here. The fish is eyeing your lure. Entice it to bite by mixing up your reeling speed. Hey, you got a bite? Quickly move the left stick in the indicated direction to hook the fish. Uh, the fish is trying to get away. Move the direction to ease out the line against the tension. Uh, press R2, or yeah, R2 to reel in the fish and wear down its stamina. When the fish is all out of stamina, you can pull it up. Uh, don't let the line break. When the tension meter starts blinking red, stop reeling and give the line some slack. Job knocked. All right. New record. Congratulations, you landed a fish. Some fish are edible while others are prized. Uh, there's some crazy fish out there. Uh, the color of a fish on the minimap indicates its yield. The yellow dots represent edible fish. The rarer the fish, the better the ingredient or treasure it provides. By honing Noctis' skills and acquiring new tackle, you can reel in a, in real whoppers and reap the rewards. All right, there you go. I fished. I'm a true master. All right, let's uh, go talk to Home Chick Slice. I really, really like this town, by the way. Can't, can't say that enough. Look how nice it is. You know, like, if I were to think of a European city on the water, I think Venice might be one of those. If I'm wrong, don't kill me. Uh, you know, this is, this is what I would picture Venice without, you know, seeing it. Uh, I think we get to see... The, the city that I'm thinking of in Casino Royale, uh, the Daniel Craig movie. It's a really good movie, by the way. Uh, but, uh, you know, this this city looks great. I like it lots. Lots, lots, Did anything lots. happen while I was gone? Yeah, the car got roomier. Smart Ooh. ass. 
Oof, get bodied. Inventory is full. I'm sure there's a sparkly over here. Don't disrespect me, please. Alright. See how it is, game. Have an invitation? Let me in, please. I'm the king. Once negotiation begins, you will be unable to return to the city. Oh. You know, do it like that. Go ahead and save first. Wow, we're in chapter 9 already. Um, also, also, before I start this, um, I looked up the... Oh, I downloaded the other episodes, and I looked up when to do them without spoilers. Um, basically every other episode it's recommended that I do it after the game has ended, but I could technically do some of them, if I really wanted to, right before, like during chapter 14, which I think is like one of the last chapters or something like that, so. Um, I don't, I, some of them kind of spoil the ending is what these things were saying, so, I don't know. Uh, you actually just rewatched Casino Royale a few weeks ago. It is really good. It is so good. It's so good. Now I'm gonna watch that too. I'm gonna do it. Dropping a lot of frames this stream too. Thank you for coming. I was about to say, I think I remember this being a mini game. Uh, the negotiation is about to begin with First Secretary Klostra. Engage her in a manner befitting a king and strive to win her trust and cooperation. No sweat. First things first. Uh, express gratitude. Thanks for coming to greet us in person. It's the least I could do for a king. Westcombe didn't extend me an invitation, so I decided to extend my own. Though circumstances have changed, both the king and the oracle are finally in Altitia. You said that you have Luna in your care. <clears throat> no concern? Is it just going to be the top spot every time? Doesn't that pose a risk to your nation? Is the king concerned for our relations with the Empire? But it's true. The Oracle is a risk. One we are prepared to shed with. Whether we do so depends on you. Now let me ask some questions of my own. Why does the Oracle seek to awaken the Hydrian? Hmm. I'll be truthful, I guess. She wants to forge a covenant so I can receive Leviathan's blessing. <laughs> the answer I wanted to hear. And yet, king or not, it can't be a simple affair for you to receive a god's blessing. Let me be frank. The potential chaos worries me. You know better than most what took place in Lucis with Archeon. Tell me, what happened? Uh, I kind of want to be cheeky, but I'll be truthful again. met Titan, and he gave me his power. Just like the legends, though the Empire doesn't like the way the story goes. Even as we speak, they mobilize their forces. It seems there's no avoiding chaos. It will most likely come to war. However, I don't care to host a battle on my soil. The gods and the Empire be damned. Hmm... Let's be realistic. Not much you can do when it comes to gods. You'd suggest I accept my city's destruction? Let's be pragmatic. Gotta choose what you want to protect. I wasn't expecting you to say that. Perhaps you're not as unthinking as I first thought. 
Without further ado, let us talk terms. If you wish to hold the right, you must ensure my citizens' safety and aid in their evacuation. Adjust further measures. That's fine, but what about damage to the city? Your concern is appreciated, but I am prepared to accept some structural damage. Keeping the citizens safe is my chief concern, and therefore yours. And that is not all. Once the right has begun, I will not be accountable for what follows. You are on your own. That's confident. Not a problem. We know how to take care of ourselves. Thank you. I'm sorry we cannot do more, but as I'm sure you are aware, few armies can stand against the might of the Imperial fleet. That is all for the terms. To review, you are to ensure our citizens' safety and engage the Empire. Do we have an agreement? <laughs> Respond pompously. Except casually. We'll help however we can. Lest you forget, this is a business deal. A flippant attitude will earn you a flippant response. A final warning, though I doubt it'll come to it. My duty is to my citizens. Should any harm befall them, there will be a reckoning for both King and Oracle. Ha! <laughs> Returning the threat? You, oh my goodness. He hasn't earned that disrespect, but super tempted. We'll empathize with her situation, her position. All right. You do what you must for your people. You're just like your father. Hmm. Ask her meaning. What do you mean, like my father? Sometimes I can't tell whether you're sharp or dull. Madam, it's time. Assign three of your own for the evacuation effort. Whom you choose is up to you. According to our intel, the Imperial fleet will be four warships strong. Steel yourselves for a full-scale battle. I'm glad we could talk. We can each act in our own interest to our mutual benefit. <laughs> He's like, uh, uh, assign three of your own to, to handle the business. I only got three other people with me. Who else am I going to send? And yeah, unreserved trust. I don't remember what Oracle Ascension coins are, but I'm guessing they're pretty important. And uh, Skyfall's cool too. I actually liked uh, most of the Daniel Craig movies. I need to rewatch Quantum of Solace to see if I like that one. I kind of remember that one not being that great though. I can't promise something I can't help. Of course. You certainly opened up to them though. What can I say? I have a soft spot for the young and tragic. They've lost Regis. They've lost the crystal. Was it so long ago the last oracle was taken from them? We've seen the Empire go mad these ten odd years. The Day of the Right. Only the end time of Quantum of Solace was good? The guy drinking the oil? I don't, I don't remember much about it, unfortunately. I'll watch it again. I'll just watch all of them. How about that? During the rite, we must see to it. The Empire does not harass Leviathan. Gonna be tough to pull off before the King receives her power. And with three of us on evacuation detail. Indeed. The best we can realistically do is to help the Hydrian help herself. What kind of help are you talking about? Just like Titan, the Empire will seek to immobilize Leviathan. Ah, oh, with the harpoon things? If we can dislodge them from the Goddess, she will have a fighting chance. Sounds good in theory, but don't push it. It's pointless, unless you can get that blessing. Stay flexible, stay alert. All right, will do. Such a nice looking city. 
Waiting to see the new Godzilla movie. Always been a fan of those. I've been a fan of those, the older ones. I haven't seen any of the newer ones. The last one I saw was like Godzilla 2000, I think. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A lot of the old ones, though. If worse comes to worse, you can threaten to throw the trident into the sea. Then they'll listen. In the meantime, it will be well guarded. Better than the Oracle herself. Understood. I shall reclaim it at the altar. Remember, you'll be under Imperial Watch. Right. Think of it as a necessary evil in order to forge the Covenant. I am in your debt. Once it's over, you may go as you please. But you do so without our protection. So be it. You'd better get going. Your public is waiting for you. Necessary with the door, like dang. I'm chick just walked out. You gonna let her move aside your 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 gun like that? That's some respect for yourself, man. You a soldier. Uh, the old school ones are funny, but you kind of like the newer ones too. The 2014 one with Brian Cranston is decent. So was Shin Godzilla, directed by the same guy who did Evangelion. Uh, that one is very dialogue heavy, though. Got it. Knocked. You in position? Yep. Don't forget the plan. You guys too. Of course. about a crowd like the whole city's come to watch all right hedge your bets on what could possibly go wrong and what will go right what could go wrong talking to a god and dear friends i stand before you today with little hope, the words I speak shall reach beyond these walls. For slowly but surely, the light fades from our world. And as it does, the shadows shall loom ever longer until all succumbs to the darkness. Darkness that evokes terror, hatred, and sorrow in the hearts of men. The ashes of Lucis. A dream of peace, twisted into a nightmare of death and destruction, claiming innumerable lives and leaving myriad souls to suffer. Luna. Yet I beg you, do not surrender to despair. Have faith, for our gods watch over us. By their blessings, by the stars that light the heavens above, our world will be delivered from the perils of the dark. I stand before you here in Altitia to call upon Leviathan, goddess of the seas, spirit of the deep. By the sacred right, I will commune with the Hydrian. But first, I offer you my solemn vow. On my honor as Oracle, I will not rest until the darkness is banished from our world and the light is restored. Bless you all.
Okay. Give that speech about a four out of ten. Needs more propaganda. Knocked. The Empire's here. I can see him. Dropships are closing in on the board. Look for a vantage point to approach them. Okay. Look after the citizens. We got him covered. So, it begins. Oh, it begins. Let us bring the ruckus. Needs to project her voice more? Yeah, that too. You know, look out to the crowd. Look into their eyes. You know, feel for the crowd's plight. Understand them. Like, yeah, man, I'm just going to come in here and talk to, talk to your god. Hope that's okay. So, this part, basically, uh, I believe this is my favorite part. Of the game, I think. Might it might be after this, but it is I, Luna Freya, blood of the Oracle, goddess of the seas. I beseech you, enter into this covenant that the king might reclaim the stone. call it to disappear oh yeah give me that music gonna get bodied by my big sword. New game plus, didn't y'all know? <laughs> know that the king of kings is to drive the darkness from our star <laughs> it is in receiving mercy that men offer praise and in shedding grace that the gods solicit worship. I vow the king will prove himself worthy. Knocked. Prompto's headed. 
passage your way. But what about you guys? We'll wait below. There's only room for two. Max, jump! What? No time for questions! I'm here! I'm at the rendezvous! Man! Ah! Ah, go! What is this? <laughs> New ride we borrowed from the Niths! This will get us in close! Serious? Here she comes! I got this! I'll get as close as I can! Then it's up to you! Alright! Won't be long! Hey, nice job finding this baby. The moment I saw her, I knew we'd go places. Not again! Not making this easy. Not. Hold on tight! Pretty bad though. Not can you reach? No. All right, Goob Tube, asking you shall receive. One v one. Noctis versus Leviathan. <laughs> Demand. Hey, your power! Give it up! <laughs> Maintain a commanding tone. Don't you understand? I'm the king! <laughs> commanding tone. Want to do this the hard way? Fine. Oh. <laughs> All right. I guess we're doing hard mode. Uh, and before. I do this. I want the blood sword. So the only way you'll help me is if I take you down. Okay, that didn't work. One v one. <laughs> Need a better spot here. Leviathan or something. Just 
let's just do big damage now. is fulfilled. All in thrall to darkness shall know peace. Now you know not what not to do in your playthrough. <laughs> Don't piss off Leviathan. Makes the fight a lot harder than it needs to be. Uh, the fight is cool. It was my, I think this is my favorite fight in the game. I, I don't remember many of the old fight or the, the fights that happened later on in the game. But this right here, this is why it's my favorite part. Or my favorite fight, presumably. <sighs> it's time to bring the ruckus. Fly around, do tons of damage. That's great. You did uh, multiple attacks, sir. There we go. I need you to hit these warp strikes though. <laughs> like a like a like a phase or something like that where I can only block attacks
I'm gonna get the damaging. You got me. Oh. Stop cheating. There's, there it is, the, the tail. It's gonna take a little bit. Oh. Not letting me move in. Just to let you know, like, this blinking around, that is just my regular movement. I am not, like, dodging or anything like that to activate that. Oh, that was... That was a little cheap. Getting like these narrow misses. Oh, almost went straight through that, uh. That whirlpool. Or, I don't know what that was called. Typhoons? All that and I was just looking at it like, oh yeah, come at me, bro. <laughs> okay. I wonder if I'm meant to like block those. I wonder if that's. That's the approach I'm supposed to take. It is taking me a while to get out of this phase.
we go. Sweat is dripping into my eye. I don't think I have any other like super weak maybe that another horn right there. Maybe yeah. a better camera angle than that dog. Oh, come on. Come on. The mashing of the buttons. My worst enemy. Yeah. <laughs> Elevator go down. What's up? I love the music in that fight. I love the epicness of that fight. It's done. It's all good. Uh, maybe Ramu is going to show up too and be like, hey, hey, none of that. Noctis. Uh, uh, Luna? So, you found your way here. <laughs> and you found me. A chance to see you once more. <laughs> Who would have thought? Well, what do you mean? Why wouldn't you see me? Because my prayers have been answered. My calling fulfilled. But... That doesn't have to come between us. You are the one, Noctis. The stars shine for you now. That which is yours by right shall be restored to you. 
Do you remember the flowers of Tenebrae? It seems so long ago. You'll find they await you still, looming from hill to vale. Will you be there? Would that I could join you. But this moment will have to be enough. It's not right. All I... All I wanted was to save you. When the world falls down around you and hope is lost. When you find yourself alone amid a lightless place. Look to the distance. Know that I am there. And that I watch over you always. It's a beautiful scene. Prettiness everywhere. Oh, you know, like the the water with the hair and the, the dress and smoke effects. And just looks so good. Back with us. <clears throat> I'll tell the others. Though it may take a bit. You're hurt. A oh, small sacrifice in the greater battle. And Luna? She has passed. Umbra left that for you. Uh, so, the stuff that happens with Ignis, they explain that in episode Ignis, but it has, like, tons of story spoilers, so. But from what, I, what I've heard, anyways, what I read. So, uh, we won't experience that for a while. Oh, I'm wearing the wrong clothes, man. And uh, if, if you notice, Ignis is not really walking on his own. Prompto is kind of helping him out, directing him places. Ignis is also wearing different glasses. Might give you a little more indication what happened to Ignis there. If you haven't noticed it for yourself. I'll just point out that stuff for you. I'll, I'll explain it soon, I'm sure. I hope.
Look at that fishing. Got a little bit of fishing experience. Just a little bit. Yeah, he, he does got that scar across his face. That's what I was going to check next. Man. <laughs> All right, Prompto, you need to calm down. Oh, man. The way his mouth is open like that. <laughs> this is a good one. Uh, someone's arm is in the way or finger or something. Ah, uh, see, that one could be so much better. Oh, but Noctis is, you can see Noctis right there, right below the eye. It could be so much better, though. Keep trying, uh, Prompto. I believe in you. Scourge of the Stars. I hope what happens next isn't what I think it is. But I think it is. So, we're gonna roll through Tenebrae. Not before visiting the royal tomb at Gartanico. Oh, uh, you're sure you're up to that? The wounds have mended. I say it's a matter of time. What the hell is wrong with you? What? We're not stopping in Tenebrae. You need to grow up and get over it. I am over it. I'm here, aren't I? Maybe when you're not too busy moping, you can look around and give a shit about someone worse off than you. Let go of me. How's that ring fit you? You rather carry it around than wear it? <laughs> she gave her life so you could do your duty. Not so you could sit around feeling sorry for yourself. You don't think I know you that? You don't! Ignis took one for you, too. And for what? Enough, Gladio. You think you're a king, but you're a coward. Shut up! Don't do this! I... <clears throat> I get it, all right? I get it! Then get a grip. Pull your head out of your ass already. <sighs> Knocked! Leave him. He's got kind of a point, you know. I mean, but at the same time, you know, let not greed too. He lost his dad. Now he's lost his his fiance. He's losing people. Doesn't look like he's sitting on that chair. Noctis is free to roam about the train until it pulls into station. Okay. Apparently I can't save. So, walk around. Hey, we're almost at Cartanica. Okay, thanks. Oh, I... I was like, what happened to this lady's head? It was just it's just totally off her body. And then I realized, oh, she's she's probably sleeping and her head is just bowed down. Okay. <laughs> Guy was uh wigging out. Seriously, you hate it when people say just get over it? Yeah, it's you know, it's kind of rough. Uh you gotta you gotta kinda see both sides. Gotta understand what's going on. Alright, so that's explaining uh, some stuff. Yeah, some stuff. Although, I, I, I guess it's been several weeks, though. I mean, several weeks should theoretically be enough time for you to, to, to grieve and to, you know, handle your business.
But to each his own, I suppose. Okay. Well. Uh, exploring the train is delaying the inevitable. All right. When you pop back in, just let me know. Uh, uh, you know, I was going to go track him down, but we're just going to go rest. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. As you know, I don't remember going this way. I don't remember seeing all this. I saw the way you were looking at her. I wasn't looking at anyone. Oh, you were looking at somebody. I saw it too. That elixir is a good item to get. Coming through, coming through. I, Commander Florey, has been deemed accountable for Altitia's tragedy and sentenced to execution. Lord Ravis Knox Florey was promoted to the Imperial Army's top post amid the turmoil of the failed peace talks. The High Commander's primary responsibility was restoring stability to Lucis. Yet his campaign against the Hydrian ended in disaster, incurring monumental losses for the Empire and collateral damage to the area. Wow, he is being executed for that. Still no sign of Lady Luna Freya anywhere. He's dead, dog. It's not looking good. What, I Heard the news? Her again. Leaning in progress. Alright, time for the long walk back. Aurelian Medal of Distinction. For whatever reason, I thought Gladiolus was here somewhere. Actually, it's my first time. It's gorgeous. I have no doubt you'll love it there. Maybe that's later. You want to head to the dining car? So you can feast your eyes on that other girl. Give me a break. I'm just hungry is all. All right, man. Good luck with that. <laughs> good luck with that. Just put on a blindfold. Eat your food. Only way you're getting out of that situation. Oh, just gonna sit back here in the back. I already read that. You don't say. Guess that means All right, I think I got turned around. Alright, Gladiolus is in the back. Moving this way. Hey, hey, sit down. Put your seatbelts on. Uh, you too, sir. This is the king. Recognize. there okay guess I used up all my time and it wasn't the sequence that I thought it would be One step closer to finding the next tomb you know usually when you get on a train like a bunch of bad stuff happens so I had to have avoided that. But alright. I'm going to end it here for today. Uh, I got to fight an epic battle with Leviathan. That was great. And uh, I guess uh, tomorrow we will uh, go to this tomb. Do some tomb stuff. And then see what happens afterwards. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. I'll be back tomorrow, 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific, because I got my car back, which means I'll be back at a normal time. And, you know, I'll have uh, drinks uh, to supplement this water that I'm tired of drinking. And it's going to be fantastic. So see you tomorrow, 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific. Peace.